Getting some tuning done. This track is a feature based track called Gilmore and Goliath. I'm just tuning my guitar. This song has kind of like my ode to uh, Pink Floyd a little bit because they, they were an influence on me growing up. Lowering my buffer rate. La, 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 la. 
they should just sponsor me. Red Bull. So had a great time in Nashville uh, yesterday. Had um, went to the music bed party uh, that they host for their artists. The music bed are the people that uh, sell uh, or distribute my music to TV and video and uh, commercials. And uh, had a great time. Then the guys from Sirius Bright, a folk band, you need to check them out if you like folk music at all. Surprisingly, if you like EDM and you're watching the stream and you like folk music. They stayed at my house last night. Those are awesome guys. They played at the Nick. I think they're playing somewhere in Tennessee. Go check them out. They've got an awesome cover of Staying Alive on YouTube, so go check that out. Serious Bright. Okay. I'm just recording some guitars right now. I thought I'd just tune in live so you can join in with me on my day off. Sounds pretty cool open like that. Although it's not supposed to sound like that because I had to change the buffer rate. Whenever you do that, the Prophet 12 sometimes changes the settings, but it sounds cool open like that. Sounds a little bit better with that filter opened up. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. I love to know about you. So I like that. I like how open that sound is. We're going to go ahead and record that prophet sound. do is we're just going to open that filter up while this line is playing. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see how that sounds when we open the filter of the Prophet 12, which is analog. Hey, okay. Texas, awesome. Alabama, roll tide. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. So let's check this out. Like I said, this is a future-based track, so it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's not really chain smoker esque, but it has that kind of like womp 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 type sense to it. So, right now I'm just recording some guitar for this track called Gilmore and Goliath. And then I'm also doing the second part of uh, the breakdown before it goes into the second drop. This is a really chill track that uh, I'm doing, but uh, like I said before, this is kind of like my ode to Pink Floyd. I loved Pink Floyd growing up. And um, 
was always a fan of what they did with synth work, and since I'm an EDM producer, you know, they always kind of had, you know, a special place in my heart. So I kind of wanted to do a track just to kind of honor them. So this track is called Gilmore and Goliath, kind of a play on David and Goliath and uh, David Gilmore. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just messing with the Prophet 12, which is an analog synth and recording some guitars. Thanks for joining in, by the way. That's kind of what the track sounds like right now. I'm actually going to mute this part so it doesn't play. Just adjusting the bass notes. So this uh, sound is still a little too uh, bright. So I'm going to go into this low pass filter and I'm going to affect how much. much is bleeding through when it's kind of opening up. Because you kind of want to really take a... Uh, you're going from a really high place with, with a, the drop and so then you want to take the uh, the listener. You want to take the listener down to kind of chill out, especially with this track. This track this track is really calm, and so I'm just going to save this setting. Take some profit. If I can type today. Okay, now we got that saved. So, this is what the drop sounds like right now. Glad you like it, yay! And that sounds terrible. So we're gonna go fix that. We opened it up too much, the filter. See how that sounds.
sounds horrible. sound good at all. So we're going to kind of like level this off. Porter Robinson. Yeah, he's doing some pretty unique stuff. I'll have to check out some of his drops on Spotify to see what they sound like. Mr. Torres, thank you for tuning in. John, thanks for tuning in. All right. Now I've, I've, I've just got to record this audio. adjusting some of these notes right now, some of these MIDI notes to give us a better, oops, The glorious life of a, of a producer, sitting in silence messing with a bunch of blocks. I don't know if you can see it, but many notes, dragging, dropping, moving, pushing this way, pushing that way. Let's see. Sad machine? I think I've heard, I think I've heard that, John. Uh, it's pretty cool. It is, it is a cool track. He's kind of gone a different direction, more of like a, kind of like a Tycho, Tycho and um, kind of more, almost indie type sound. Okay, so let's record that.
So I'm just going to check that audio and put it somewhere else now. So we can keep messing with the um, the profit. The thing about working with uh, analog synthesizers is the fact that when you record a sound, you've got to actually record that sound. It's not like a soft synth where you can create a hundred instances of that soft synth. You've got to like work on that patch, record it, then work on another patch, record it. So it kind of slows down your process. So sometimes I don't, uh, if I'm trying to get writing done, I'll do, I'll do my writing in a soft synth and then I'll go back and sound design with uh, an analog synthesizer. So now I, I really want some drums to kind of start building the track up. I would say this is a very pretty track. I'm just recording some MIDI right now and then
That's pretty cool. I'm just looking for a sound right now on the Prophet 12. Let me know where you're from. looking for a sound.
Thanks for tuning in. Sounds pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Harmony Guido in the studio making a future bass track. Just messing around with some synths right now if you're if you're brand new tuning in. Right now I'm working on, oh thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Right now I'm working on the second breakdown of this song, and uh, yeah, so this is song, it's called Gilmore and Goliath. So we're going to record this real quick, this um, little kind of arpeggio from the Prophet 12. was cool. So we're just going to take that and we're going to drag it down here. <laughs> so we're just kind of layering the track right now. Thanks for tuning in. We're just kind of layering the track. Uh, so the arpeggiators, when you put an arpeggiation, it's like, you know, uh, it can still be a really low part of the track. Uh, but it gives it still a lot of energy and so right now we're trying to create energy even though everything is real calm and quiet because you've just come from a really intense part of the track which is like the drop and it's doing all this crazy stuff and so now we're just kind of creating some atmosphere and then we're going to build it back up <laughs>
now I'm just gonna write. Oh, thanks, KT. You're the man, brother. <laughs> Kenneth Thomas in the house, people. World famous DJ. kind of uh, looking for a lead line. Let's see. <laughs> Thanks, KT. I'm just looking for a lead line right now for this uh, this part. Arpeggiator sound almost reminds me of a uh, Top Gun <laughs> where, where Goose just died in the plane crash. So right now I'm just going to, oh, Hector, thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, brother. So now I'm just playing through the track to see if this guitar part, how I'm going to fit in this guitar part. Because I've already done that one, that guitar part. I do that lick in this part right here.
Thank you. We're just gonna keep it real simple. You know, sometimes you, I, I grew up as a guitar player. That was my first instrument. But sometimes when you're a guitar player, you just want to shred and do all these notes. But the key to a good solo and atmospheric sounds is all about simplicity. So you take notes in, you put, you, you pull notes out, and see which what works and what doesn't. So I'm about to record this. Part to see what I like. That was okay. I'm going to re-record it because I didn't like it when I did. So I'm going to re-record. computer stops like that you can't <laughs> it's because I have a lot of tracks already going and now I'm trying to record at a low buffer rate That was pretty cool. I liked that a lot. Let's see if it... Good, it captured all that data. All right, let's listen to it in the track now. I liked that because it was simple. It started out here and then there and then here and then there. It went it went high and then it went low.
Thanks for tuning in. If you're jumping on for the first time today. Let me know in the comments where you're from. Thanks for tuning in. Where are you from? Right now I'm just flushing out the uh, build up to this song called Gilmore and Goliath. Copying and pasting, Ableton Live. Okay.
was, I guess it, oh, okay. I don't know why it's so much more quiet than the first half. There it is. That's why we need this guitar line to be. Good start. Well, my phone's about to die. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time.